Dan O'Bannon, who wrote Alien, and John Carpenter, who directed Halloween, were in college, and they made a short movie about what a long mission in space would be really like. Mitch sees three guys and their captain. Their captain has is dead and is in cryogenic freeze, but they can talk to him to get advice about their mission. Their mission is to go out and find planets and blow them up. Between destroying planets, they look at girly magazines. Some of you people don't know what that is, and I'm just betraying how old I am. Smut. They deal with an alien that they brought on board as a pet, and the alien is a inflatable beach ball with flippers. So the characters don't have a lot to do. The plot shows up late in the movie when they're trying to launch a bomb. It looks like a trail truck container, and the bomb has a mind of its own to do what it has to do, and it starts to get into an existential crisis. It does not release from the, from the ship Dark Star. Now, that's about it for the plot. It's a gonzo science fiction movie. There aren't a lot of those. The only one I can think of offhand would be... And remember, this was made in the Vietnam era. Being against authority was all the big deal, and, you know, but <laughs> it's all about having a miserable job. And you have to do it day in, day out, and it's boring, and you're with people you don't like, and yet you do it. Ron Cobb he designed the spaceship Dark Star, and I think he was involved in some of the shooting of it. Very rudimentary special effects still work. There were beach chairs and sunglasses and trash on the floor, and you will find the seeds of Alien in it. Dark Star has the attitude of Dr. Strangelove and the look of 2001. If 2001 had been thrown out a flight of stairs, it looks at authority as stupid. It looks at the folks who press the buttons that blow up planets look like dopes. They manage to give the sense of being out there in space, frankly, a lot better than most Star Trek movies. When the guys want to escape from everything, they go up into a bubble and look up into the blackness. Dan O'Bannon ported that over into his original screenplay for Alien, in which he had Dallas hanging out up there and Ripley coming up to get... Well, that was all cut out. Dark Star is a hippie movie. It's made by a bunch of 70s anti-Vietnam, pro-free speech, what today's followers are. They're against the war. They're pro-free speech. An alien who's escaped and is chasing a character up and down an elevator shaft. An elevator shaft which was filmed so when Dan O'Bannon appears to be dangling his legs in the abyss he's on the floor and the camera is just upside down and he's and he's kicking his his feet but this movie isn't about giving you beautiful visuals it's about an attitude that's it it's, it's not deep you can pick a few attitudes up but that's really all you can pick up it took them forever to make it and they dealt with some shady folks to get it distributed they came out with a very nice blu-ray Lots of bonus material. Check it out. Thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you again soon.